video guys, today is kind of a combination of what I thought of the Lion Guard and also a theory that I have about the Lion Guard and how it can possibly be canon. A lot of the Lion Guard, like, two things don't connect. Um, a lot of it is very hard to watch as a teenager and uh, being um, aimed at a younger audience and um, they get a lot of things wrong as well. They show, um, for example, they'll show um, background pictures of the other previous lion guards and they'll all have manes and be fully grown lions. And then here is um, Kion being the leader of the lion guard, because he's the only lion in it. <laughs> um, and he's just a cub. <laughs> And it just doesn't make any sense that they never explain that. And then they just, yeah. And, um, and also there's a lot of different characters, like in Lion King, um, in the Lion, in the first season, they really changed the character of Kiara and Simba. So I think, so here is my theory of what really happened. So, actually, Khan is much younger than he looks, and he is just playing this game with all of his friends called the Lion Guard. And he's heard about the Lion Guard, and he really likes the idea about it. But, and he really thinks that he's going to be the next Lion Guard, so he just can't, um, leader, so he just cannot wait. And so he's um, playing this game with all of his friends. But the thing is, he isn't the second born. He is actually the third born if you're into the Copa theory that is, which I am, so I'm going to apply that to this thing. So Copa was the firstborn and was the heir, but then he died and that, so he was placed with Kiara as the new heir. And Kiara didn't really want to be queen, but she couldn't do anything about that. And, um, and then Kion thought, well, since um, he wasn't going to be king, he must be the new Lion Guard leader. So, but later it turns out that he actually isn't, which I'll explain later. Um, and he just plays this game throughout season one and season two. He does meet some of the people that he meets. Like, he does meet, um, I forgot the name of the girl hyena. Which you, who we've seen seeming this hour with, but a lot of that stuff kind of does happen, a lot of it doesn't happen, but, but most of it is played out in his imagination. And the reason why um, Kiara and Simba's characters are so different, and how Kiara acts all um, sassy and wanting to be queen and so proud of herself, and why um, Simba actually acts so proud and so selfish, king. Uh, almost scar like um, it's because this is just how um, Kion sees him as which is really sad but um, we l I want to look at him as a cub and as a cub who just doesn't really know who just kind of sees things in a different way than he does when he gets older and then in season 3 when he actually does get older um, he still continues to play the game because characters like Bonga um, Bonga, uh, Honey Badgers actually age slower than Kion. So when Kion is a teenager, Bonga is still a kid. And so Bonga would still want to play the game with him. And so Kion would just be a good friend and still playing, but still pretend he has a roar and all that stuff. But meanwhile, while they were playing, Kion gets bitten by a snake. Now, I have this theory that when you get scratched, bitten, or whatever, on the eye, you get a scar on the eye, you then get um, the spirit of scar kind of haunting you, um, which Kovu got. You can you could see in the Lion King too that you could see um, he, he could see um, Scar's reflection after getting the scar, and. He kind of just gets confessed by it. Um, I think that later, after Lion King 2, he gets more haunted by it and has to go through the same sort of process that Kion goes through. Kion has to get healed, 
get rid of this um, haunting um, thing and also his eye must really hurt because it got bitten by a snake but there definitely isn't a real snake that makes you turn evil that doesn't make sense <laughs> so um, it makes much more sense to me for the in the Lion Guard in the Lion King world for it to be a, uh, a way for Scar's spirit to live on instead of him being one of the great kings of the past who lives up in the stars because he wasn't a really great king he um, can, but he still lives on because he was a king and that is the way that he lives on through people's scars and which is which I think is a good theory I don't know about you but you tell me what you think about that theory in the comments down below and so every time um, in season three when you see him roar or talk about the Lion Guard or anything like that, that's just him playing with Bonga and the rest of the um, of his friends. But most of what happens in season three actually did happen, except for like the last episode, um, because by then, um, because um, I didn't really like that Batani became new Lion Guard leader. I mean, yes, she's. A good leader but it doesn't make sense and like they just kind of said pulled it out of the blue sort of thing and like they could just kind of worked around the rules it didn't really work and also the the lions that they that were a part of her lion guard we never see in Lion King 2 and so I think that all of that episode um, all of that bit where he goes back to the Fire Lands was just a dream that he had or something like that. But he does eventually um, go back to the Pride Lands and um, but when he does um, Kovu was already being haunted a lot by the spirit and of Scar and um, uh, kind of just gives him the same treatment that the uh, lions in the um, other pride gave him and he and Kovu gets healed and then um, Kopa go, um, Kion goes um, on a journey to find his own pride because he comes with age um, and then on his journey, he bumps into Copa. Um, now that Copa is a fully grown cub, he is able to show Copa how to get back to the Pride Lands before Copa couldn't get back to the Pride Lands because it included climbing up a cliff. But Kion knew of a secret passage that um, Copa didn't, and they were so happy to see each other, obviously, because they were brothers. and. Um, Kion had never properly met Copa, and so they went back to Pride Lands. The Pride Lands, um, they, um, uh, Copa was redeemed the new heir. Kiara was really happy because she didn't have to be queen, and she and um, Kovu could just settle down and have a family relaxingly. And, um, and then, um, meanwhile, Kion, um, decides that he really wants to go back to the Night Pride because he, um, misses, um, Rani. So he goes back to them and that's when, and by then he has a mane and he goes back and joins their pride and becomes the king of that pride um and he has cubs so that is what i think happened with kion um uh, tell me if you like this theory in the comments down below um like it if you liked it um please watch more of my videos there'll be videos here and here and you can subscribe here and thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye